Swinburne University. Um, their uh, orientation weeks, uh, the days, uh, there's a single day that we've found, but again, check their website if you're not sure. In fact, we recommend it uh, to make sure that you, you verify this information. Uh, if this is Swinburne University uh, International uh, Student web pages, Monday the 21st of February uh, from uh, uh, 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock and a second session for international students from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Make sure that you attend and it's worth noting actually that some of these um, orientation sessions we've noticed that it is compulsory. You must attend as part of your uh, enrolment activities, you must attend these orientation sessions. Uh, why? We'll uh, have another episode um, explaining why that's the case. So as, uh, as the video is now winding down, we're uh, just nearly um, uh, finishing here with uh, the video. We're at the Make sure that you get familiar using these orientation weeks at every university. There's an international student support team at each university that will only be too happy to help you. In fact, they are paid. <laughs> They're paid to help you settle into life in Melbourne and support you through your journey uh, as you complete your studies and, uh, and uh, acclimatise to Melbourne. So please make sure that you use those resources. Don't be afraid. Get over your anxieties. Uh, there's plenty of help around. And that's why this channel exists. We want to help you settle into Melbourne and, um, and provide just a little bit of extra help and resources as you study in Melbourne. Suddenly had to go home and uh, you, <laughs> you just, need, you just uh, need something to help you. Yeah, we will be putting out um, uh, similar episodes around uh, open days. Uh, for those who are interested in attending open days, if you're an international student, you're in Melbourne, and you should be by now if you're a Vic Uni student enrolled in their program. Um, that, that's all we have for you now in this episode. We've somehow managed to uh, fit all the information in. Uh, the other thing I would like to say and uh, just remind you is that uh, this channel is. Uh, um, we are based in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, we have Wise Words Media has a lot of experience in international student uh, education, uh, creating um, uh, marketing video and audio content for international students. We also have a lot of experience uh, settling uh, people from overseas into life in Melbourne uh, since 1979. Uh, we love showing off Melbourne and uh, we love helping people get, um, uh, get familiar with uh, everything this city has to offer. Um, so make sure that you uh, make the, the fullest of everything life in Melbourne has to offer through your university. Your international student support team has many activities throughout the year, not just orientation week. There's many things to take advantage of, many clubs and societies. And if you're a student whose uh, language, English, is a second language, don't, uh, don't uh, stop yourself and be anxious about uh, joining in. Get involved, practice your English, find conversation clubs, um, and we'll wrap it up there. You've been listening to This International Student Life. We're based in Melbourne, Australia, and uh, we want to thank you for um, uh, joining us in this episode. Um, and make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, you don't have to pay anything. It's free to listen, free to watch, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now. This video contains nil paid promotion. All international student information is compiled from sources available in the public domain. For further information, visit your university website, international student offices, or an international education recruitment agent in your country. This international student life is produced by Wise Words Media and Calendar Films. We accept no responsibility for any errors or omission of information in this video. There are free walking tours of the Fitzroy Gardens.